Let's take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra for gaming. These are the performance metrics. You can see the temperature is 32 Celsius after playing for over half an hour, <laughs> non-stop. It will just not change. I am even wondering if this is being reported correctly because it doesn't make any sense. 32 Celsius is the temperature you would get on a PC doing nothing <laughs> like the, the PC on idle. So I cannot understand how this phone with any level of power is keeping that temperature. It's just insane. So for gaming, that is so important because gaming is a stressing the ship <laughs> all the time. And of course, the performance is very good because the ship is very powerful. So this is Genshin Impact. It runs at 60 FPS, max out, uh, overclock and all of that. It doesn't look very good, I have to say. I am new to mobile gaming because I've never had a cell phone like this to play games. And it doesn't look good. I mean, this looks pixelated. It definitely doesn't look like 1440p at all. So I'm going to show you the settings I'm using on the game. Uh, so you see, let me go there. So you go here to graphics and you can see it is overclocked. Let me reduce the brightness of the screen so the camera doesn't clip. Okay, so you see that it is the performance right now is overclocked and everything is maxed out. 60 FPS, the highest settings, and the resolution doesn't tell you exactly what resolution is, it just says resolution high. And I'm sure this is not 1440p at all, this, this, this might be 720p because it looks very pixelated. And I turn off anti aliasing to see that better, and yeah, this is pixelated, it doesn't look amazing. Uh, I will be honest with you, it doesn't look amazing. Um, I'm not going to say it looks horrible. I understand this is a, you know, a mobile game. <laughs> not, and I'm used to game on a, on a PC, you know, 4K. So, yeah, it doesn't look great. But the performance of the phone, I, I couldn't be happier with it. Especially because of the temperature. I'm sure that a gamer's Nexus <laughs> would definitely be proud of the temperatures that I'm getting here on the phone. It's just insane. Also, for recordings, I recorded the first day I opened this phone, 27 minutes long video, then I hit the power button by mistake and then immediately started recording again. And I recorded one hour and 10 minutes. So that's one hour and 37 minutes, no overheating. This phone will just record forever. So the cooling, the design, the, the just the the achievements, the engineering <laughs> achievement of the cooling for this phone is flat out incredible. Like this is just insane how they did it. It's just amazing because even if the chip is very efficient, it is still amazing. Like I cannot believe it. I cannot believe how you can gain and keep any ship at 30 Celsius, that's like doing nothing. That doesn't make any sense. And I'm gonna show you the temperature I have on my room right now. 16.7 Celsius, so you might, that's very cold, okay? So I'm not saying this is like normal temperature conditions. This is 16.7 Celsius. Let me change it to Fahrenheit. 62 .1 Fahrenheit, okay? So that's the temperature of my room. Of course, during the summer, it's gonna get hotter. But the thing that is impressive is how flat the temperature is. Because I'm playing on my PC. On my PC, I can see the temperatures. Right now, for example, my CPU is 64 Celsius and my GPU is 63 Celsius, okay? <laughs> so from 31, 32 Celsius to 64, that's double, of course. It's a much more powerful and power hungry uh, system. But it is still impressive. And also, 
I tested the Google Pixel 7 Pro and I returned that phone because it was overheating. So playing a game, I tested Fortnite on that phone and it was just a mess. It was overheating. So and it, and the temperature at that moment was even cooler than now. <laughs> so it is not because I'm freezing here that the cell phone <laughs> temperature is very good. It is just very, very impressive. So I'm going to do a review of the phone. I still have to test it more. And I want to find the negative for the phone before I do the review. And so far, the only thing I can say about this phone that could be better is the battery, of course. We want as much battery lives as possible. Um, so the battery is good. So for example, when I opened the phone, the battery was at 61%, just you know, opening it out of, out of the box. And when I recorded that 27 minute long video and then one hour and 10 minutes, the battery went from 61% to 18%. Well, that's recording at 4K 60 frames per second for one hour and 37 minutes. So that is not, you know, camcorder territory. A camcorder can do four or five hours or more, depending on the size of the battery. But you have a battery that's this size <laughs> if you want. So it is, it is good, but it could be better. So I want to find negative about this phone. But so far, man the recordings, the video recordings of this phone are just incredible because you have a 200 megapixel sensor with options. So you have the options to control the shutter speed, the ISO, uh, the, you know, the, the ISO is the gain. So if you want to see on the darkness, you increase the ISO. If you want to capture highlights, you would decrease it. And you have also control over the white balance. So having those options allows you to have and capture what you want. For example, if I'm capturing the screen, this LG C1 screen, I can get a result that is a lot closer to what I see in front of me. Uh, and I recorded actually a 4K 60 HDR video, but YouTube is still processing. So because it is, it is recording HDR 10 plus, um, it, it seems like YouTube is like, what is this? <laughs> and it's just not releasing that video on HDR. So I want to show you how it looks. It's just very impressive, I have to say. Very, very impressive. So I am yet to find the things that I don't like about this phone. And I don't want to make a video just saying that, oh, everything is amazing and beautiful because I'm not getting paid by Samsung, okay? I pay $1,300 for this phone. So this is the 512 gigabyte version because I pre-ordered it. It was 1200 and then, you know, taxes and the, co and the, the cover and all the stuff was like $1,300. But this is a $1,400 phone. Okay, it has to be good. But how good is it? So far for me, this is just a triumph, like a marble of, engineer. it's, of engineering. It's just insane. Uh, just the cooling alone, yeah, forget about anything else. Just the cooling performance is insane. Look at the size of this thing. This is not a huge, like you don't have a lot of space to, you know, do a great cooling. And how is this phone dissipating the heat? I don't understand it. Just simply do not understand how this is happening. Absolutely amazing. I, I was not expecting this, this level of quality just amazing the HDR I also I also want to do a separate video about HDR so I can explain everything better but basically the phone does 1000 nits uh, HDR so it can show you 1000 nits when you enable that um, extra brightness setting uh, and without that extra brightness settings would show you 1200 nits but the cell phone does it is able to do tone mapping uh, with 4000 nits target. So I want to do a separate video about the HDR a screen specifically, not the recordings, the screen of the phone on HDR. Very good. <laughs> very, very good. Better than the LG C1. But I don't, the thing is that I don't have control 
over the options. So I'm trying to figure out if there is a way to control the screen so I can do a video that's more comprehensive so give you some tips to improve the HDR quality but just out of the box is very impressive very very good I am like blown away blown away with it so yeah mobile gaming I'm not impressed with it it looks like crap to be honest but it's just the the level that we have today I mean this is the maximum level we have today it doesn't look good this looks like 720p uh, and I don't understand why um, I would push for a higher resolution and turn down maybe the some graphical settings um, it doesn't look good to be honest especially uh, this screen is big it doesn't look good maybe on a smaller screen um, I mean this is this is small comparison with 48 inch but yeah I'm not I'm not impressed with the mobile gaming it just looks like crap to be honest um, and also this game Genshin Impact has the black level race <laughs> so let me show you uh, and and I and I mean this is just unbelievable because this game makes billions of dollars this game is just I mean I, I cannot understand how they have the black level race on SDR so that's another thing this game doesn't have HDR on the mobile that doesn't make any sense because the mobile devices to play this game are HDR, HDR capable screens so how do you have a one billion a game that makes billions of dollars that is designed to be played on high-end phones and you don't support HDR for the phone that makes no sense I don't understand that but yeah it is what it is let me show you the black level race we have on this game it's just terrible it's horrendous so I have me restored to default and let me increase the brightness of the screen so you can see this well you we would need to be on a dark room but if you look at the at the black on the screen that is not black let me turn off the lights here so you can see it because we turn off the light so you can see this thing you see the black part of the screen and it's not black it's gray so that makes the colors washed out <laughs> it looks terrible so on the LGC one I have control over the black level and I have to lower the black level on this game to 38 <laughs> screen brightness 38 which is nuts I've never seen any game that is more washed out than this game but the thing is because it is so colorful and stuff people don't don't notice that but I do notice it it's clear to me it looks washed out so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions and just before I end the video so you don't think that maybe the phone is not you know the resolution doesn't look high and the GPU utilization is low so that's why I see the the temperature so good no this GPU utilization is going to 80 percent 70 80 percent so the phone is working it is just the temperature being incredible let me show you again the performance metrics you can see this sometimes the performance metric just hides and it just doesn't want to pop back on I don't have a lot of experience with this yet I'm not gonna I'm not planning to play a lot of games but yeah let me show you again the performance metrics before I end the video you see since I started the video it was 31 Celsius you look at it now 31 Celsius no changes whatsoever it's just incredible 70 percent GPU utilization so it depends it goes up goes up down 70 92 percent 89 so it changes yeah it's absolutely incredible like I cannot believe the cooling of this phone so let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions